<laughs> Time for some dog rockets. All right. I'm Matt. You guys all probably know Josh. This What's is happening? our uh, worst cigar in the world review. Uh, I don't even know what this thing is. They sent it. I didn't even know. I need glasses. <laughs> B. Mang Manga. We have a look. Clicks. Oh, Cigaros. I really do need glasses. Holy shit. Yeah, you do. Espadistas. Espadistas. From B. Manga. This right here is what we are smoking. And look at the condition of these things. This is not a cigar. This is a fuse. <laughs> these things were so dry when they came out. I opened the bag, and I kid you not, the first thing that I thought that I smelled was the litter box that I had just cleaned out and the homeless guy that hangs out outside the liquor store. That was the combination that I got when I opened the bag. Uh, so. Yeah, it's not it's not pleasant, that's for sure. Uh, that's. So you want to give them a tour of the uh, space here? That what, we're in? what is <laughs> oh my god. That's well yeah, you're the one with a nice, you know, cigar room. I'm I'm I smoke in my garage when I move my car out. So uh so I call it the Lucky Bastard Cigar Lounge. It's uh lined with uh, a mosaic of various different boxes and things that I thought looked cool. That's pretty much the gist of it. And uh one of these days to the left here, I'll show you the humidor, but not for this one. Maybe it's not for this one. Uh, <laughs> much nicer than the filthy, dusty, dirty Road Rage 810 garage uh, that I'm dealing with. <laughs> Alright, so I'm this using is... my uh, Saints and Sinners exclusive edition Zycar to chip away at this. Uh... I don't know that I would. <laughs> That cigar is a disgrace to that cutter. <laughs> Let me see if I got one of those cheap ass. You know what? I just for this occasion, I oh, have. Here. here you go. I've got a. Uh, oh no, no. I have one of those cheap ass broken giveaway cutters, <laughs> which is more appropriate for this cigar. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Than anything else. <laughs> so, I mean, it's broken on the side. It's one of those that they give you in the cigar shops when you buy, like, a cigar. And they're like, oh, here, have a cutter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good That's enough. what this deserves. I hope so you're saying I should be lighting this with a bic? A... <laughs> oh, my God. It just kind of splintered. It's green. Why does it look green? <laughs> One hundred percent. That's look, mold, bro. It looks green. That's mold, bro. <laughs> you know what? I'm not. Well, we've got the whiskey at the ready. This is a, yes. a nice Heaven Hill. <laughs> Seven dollars and sixty-two cents. Seven dollars uh, and sixty-two cents a fifth. Yeah. So it's three cent delicious. dried dog turd cigars. An eight cent cutter that we're cutting it with, and there's no way that this thing deserves a good lighter. So we're using this bad boy for it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm uh, I'm going a little above and beyond. I've got an ST DuPont. Uh, I kind of want to just stay back from it as I light it. <laughs> just in case it all goes up at once. Yeah, this is a little curious, that's for sure. Yeah. That's interesting. That's an interesting burn. It's all. It's also a very interesting smell. Yeah. It's very hairy, like literally, literally like burnt hair. Thank God I'm already buzzed for this. That. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't even. Am I going to put this in my mouth? <laughs> for real? Boy, if I had a nickel for every time you said that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not editing that part out. I, I know, that's right. I'm, well, that's the burn of that, so in case you can't see that, I'll ah. put that up close. That's fantastic. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's that's quality right there. This looks like uh, oh. Dude, I better win this. I'm broke. My humidor is empty. I just found out that I'm having another baby. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Fantastic. Found out Friday. <laughs> yeah. That'll be kid number three. Just so uh, my uh, uh, behemoth warnings. If I can't afford cigars now, what's it going to be when I got a third one? <laughs> uh, it's going to be coming over more frequently to Dude, buddy Josh's house. I want to. Uh, <laughs> Surprisingly, not the most horrible thing I've ever smoked. There's no, almost not. no draw to it at all. Yeah, it's very it's loose. It's like just air. There's no... And I cut that. I did not cut that. I mean, I, I cut that very small. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's there's almost no draw to it at all. The wrapper has just flaked off into my mouth. That's fantastic. <laughs> the taste of the wrapper is... I don't know, it's different. It's kind of a cross between... Like... You know, the, 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 old style, <laughs> you know the old style carpet <laughs> that used to have the rubber backing <laughs> on it? Like in the 70s? <laughs> yeah. It kind of tastes like that rubber backing. Well, well, how do you know what that tastes like? I grew up in a is. house that uh, had that, and yeah, I used to drink a lot. Fair enough. Okay. So, so you woke it up kinda, many it's a times cross going... between that rubber backing and maybe <laughs> like burnt hair. I don't, it actually kind of makes your lips sting when you touch it or tingle. Kind of like ammonia. That's rough. That is rough. Are we supposed to poke the whole thing? Alright, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. Okay, alright. Only half of it's burning, the other half... Okay, let me borrow the gun lighter. Only half of it is burning and the other half is splitting away. Well... Uh, thank God for strong whiskey. <laughs> We're going to need whiskey to get through this. This has to be the cheapest review <laughs> that's ever that's ever been done. <laughs> We're smoking an eight cent cigar with a four dollar lighter, a twenty five cent cutter, <laughs> and a seven dollar fifth of whiskey. Yeah. You know, but I tell you, don't say. get much more budget than that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get. It's like not burning it's just disintegrating it's not even you want this one <laughs> no i'm good i'll take my chances with this one this, this yours one's has funny. holes in it it's, it's legit, legit fall like, <laughs> it's legit. just falling apart oh. this burn is just epic that's that's amazing right there it's opening like a flower as it burns. <laughs> That's the sign of a good cigar right yeah. there. Oh yeah. When it opens up like a flower. Yep. Oh god, I need more whiskey. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. You know. Thanks for involving me. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. I figured, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're the cigar expert that I would get your opinion on this as well, and they sent two. Whew. So I figured that way, you know, we'll we'll split the prizes when we win. God, we better win something. I. <laughs> yeah, because this, this is something. I. <laughs> I'm not doing this for free, man. <laughs> Whew. I think whoever sent this to you, and, uh, um, <laughs> whoever sent this to you has a very serious vendetta against you. <laughs> no, I volunteered for this, believe it or not. <laughs> I feel like I have a hairball. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've got the same thing going. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> I really, I really feel like I have a hairball. Ah. Today we blow everything. See how, you know, I'm, I'm a little hammered right now, so. They I mean, blow up everything. Yeah, blow, blow up. Yeah. All right. Blow everything up. Okay. Yeah. That should be it. No. You said today we just blow everything. <laughs> blow everything up. You left out the up part, Josh. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. It's that video, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Damn. Not getting edited out either. That's going in the review. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the opening sequence. Da -da 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 -da. Today we blow Today everything. Today we blow everything. Thousand dollars. That never <laughs> sees the light of day. <laughs> well, yes. I'm getting a stronger, like, burnt hair taste now. Like, the cat piss is gone, but it's just burnt hair. It's still splitting and falling apart and not staying lit, and... This is horrible, man. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely burnt hair, but you know what? I don't know what anybody else is doing. I don't know what their review style is. I don't know what anybody else... I don't know how long the videos are. I'm smoking all of this thing. Oh, God. I'll do my best. <laughs> hey, at least it's safe. Wishing I had pop off or five o'clock because that's the only thing more mostly akin to uh, rubbing alcohol that would really knock out the flavor. It, it kind of sizzled <laughs> like hair burning when I. <coughs> this is awful. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to smoke a cigar for a week, dude. Oh my god. Honestly, when I saw the condition of it, I figured that it would self-destruct before we could get a chance to finish them. No such thing. Well, no, it's like a Terminator. It just it won't die. <laughs> what I want to know is how do you even come across something this terrible? I've never in my life. I believe he said that he found them on the side of the road in the <laughs> ditch. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but it was the worst cigar he'd ever smoked, so he was sending it out as a challenge for a review. And there's a bunch of great prizes. So, all right, well, uh, I'm down for that, because this is definitely not the prize. I can, I can tell you that. In case you decide to do some sort of format, eventually, Right off the brim, smelling it when it was pre-light was basically nothing. It just smelled like must, like uh, must be cat bad. Yeah, like just, just if you were to walk into an old, moist basement that just hadn't seen air or human interaction in many, many years. With maybe some newspapers mm, piled quality. in the corner. Yeah. So maybe some mo newspapers piled in the corner. That's like the odor of this cigar pre light. Now I'm into the first third. It went from a strong cat piss to a very mellow burnt hair. Yeah. That's so, kinda that's kinda what I'm getting. I it it had a strong cat piss flavor to it and that's 
and it's just it's kind of gone to melt burnt in air. To burnt air, yeah. And the quality of, I mean, the shape and the roll. I mean, just look at that outstanding quality. <laughs> the, there's a big lump in the middle. Well, I don't it, know if you can see that. It looks there's like they like try a chunk. It, it tries to be box pressed, but it's kind of lopped over, like like a yeah, sad, depressed box press. It's I don't know if you can. <laughs> It's like, I tried to be box press, but... It's kind of like a Special Olympics box press. If, if Woody Allen wanted to be box press, but it was like, eh, I don't know if I can do this, and, and, and it would just locked over, that to its side, that would be the shape of this cigar. It's, it's a Woody Allen box press, that's what we're calling this. When you I was going to say it was kind of shaped more like Stephen Hawking, but... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Stephen Hawking. Oh, yeah. With the Woody Allen box press, yes. <laughs> and this is this is all. We're going to hell for this. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, I'm driving the bus. We'll stop by and break it up. <laughs> There's no doubt. I mean, that if you don't want a brutally honest answer to a question, don't ask me, because I'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> true story. Yeah. Such a true story. One of the many things that Doesn't I like matter. about Friend, <laughs> family, stranger. You ask a question, you're going to get a brutally honest answer. You look fat and everything. <laughs> yes, yes you do. Uh, <laughs> this outfit make me look fat? Yeah, blame the outfit, lard ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the outfit that makes you look fat. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the nine cheeseburgers and the three cakes. Uh, it just burns. It's, it's like awful, man. This is awful, man. It's like that nasty taste in your mouth when you're getting sick. Like when you feel like the I would rather or something. I would on. rather that. It's kind of like that, but it burns, and it's like burnt carpet and the hair and. Dude, you can have all the prize money. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. He's down. He is uh, down for the count. The cigar master has given up. There's not many cigars that I would ever give up on, but that, that is not pleasant. Oh, God, it's terrible. I hope your next shit comes out square. You know what? I hope your next shit is a hedgehog. <laughs> you know what? I hope your next shit is a square hedgehog. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> oh. The 100% remedy to all that ails you in Opus X. <laughs> well, look, it's flowering again. Mm. How pleasant. Nice, nice even burn see by the one side that's not really burning at all. <laughs> it went up on goddamn Chernobyl. <laughs> Look at that. I just touched the flame to it. And <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, I apologize, man. I had to tap out of it. I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> Big, tough Josh. No, I couldn't help. I never claim to be tough. I'm big. I ain't tough. <laughs> I like the finer things. Damn that. Damn that damn cigar. It is still... It still won't let me enjoy this. If this burnt my palate forever, you know, <laughs> you're responsible for 900 cigars in there that you owe me money for, right? <laughs> I'll take them off your hands and dispose of them properly with fire, uh -huh. slowly. 
very enjoyably. Mm. During the lull, I will say, please go to the LNL.net and cigarfellas.com and enjoy some of the content on either of those websites. You'll find me sprinkled throughout on both of them on uh, cigar and whiskey reviews and uh, some silly uh, video podcasts on there as well. So, my channel got deleted, so I have to, I'm starting over from scratch. I've got like three videos on my Road Rage 810 channel. All my subscribers What'd are gone. What'd you do? All my subscribers are gone. I've got like 18 subscribers now. The whole channel is just gone. Like a year and a half, two years worth of videos, gone. Everything's gone. Channel started over from scratch. What did so you do? It was just gone, man. So, was it monetized? Started over. No. No? No. Why did they delete your over. channel? Uh, the whole thing was kind of a fiasco. Yeah? But, yeah. You it probably said part them, part me, and it's gone. It'll come back in the spring. So, obviously, I'm not riding the bike through the winter. So, sport bikes and snow it just doesn't really they go together, does No. YouTube.com slash Rogue Rage 810. Forward slash or backslash? Nothing really on there to see right now. Except for. There is one video of a guy making a really horrible left turn. Yeah? Into a construction area that he realized there was no road. So then he just drove over the curb and across the lawn and into the rock. I think I saw that. Party store, yeah. Yeah. He just kind of kept left turning, like until yeah. he found something. Well, he kind of made on. a left turn and then realized that he couldn't go anywhere else. So then, at that point, he was like, "Well, I'll just go straight." But there's a party store in front of me. That's not going to stop me. So just up the curb, over the lawn, around the sign, through the parking lot, out the other side, and around he goes. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. That was your video. Yeah. You watched that happen. Yeah, I recorded that as it, it was on uh, one of the fail video, uh, God, I can't even think of the name of it now, like mega car compilations or something like that, it wound up on one of those. I was like, can we use this? <laughs> I'm like, sure. So, wow. I don't know how you're just smoking that thing. I don't know either. Hey. When they said, we have this challenge, and I said, I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm in. Yeah. This right here is proving I, it. I, I appreciate the fact that you decided that I would be in as well. Well, <laughs> I said, you want to do a review? And you said, sure. Well, you certainly didn't make it clear that it was the worst cigar that I would ever smoke. Well, <laughs> now you will appreciate anything. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Somebody could give you a black and mild or a backwoods or oh. whatever it is. No, you would just be like, okay. All right, you know, on. this still isn't the worst thing that I've ever smoked. <laughs> I can't really tell if it's tobacco that they used or just lawn clippings or possibly they just pubic shaved. Hair. It's the, definitely pubic hair. That's a possibility as well. It uh, almost tastes like they just kind of ground up the box. <laughs> and it's just wood and cardboard mixed with like cat hair and piss. And various different matters of piss and fecal. Yeah, just it's like they went, they stopped at the barber shop, swept up the floor. <laughs> Why do you keep blowing it in my face, you dick? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I bet you don't. That looks like floor sweepings. It's Show the nice people at home that. That's... It's definitely short filler. I mean, it's definitely just... It's, Can they see that, you think? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, it's... It's definitely short filler, and uh, it is... Brittle as all hell. It just shot out at me. <laughs> it's like just flying everywhere. That is just surprising that there's no other no other nonsense in there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Lucky Bastard Cigar Lounge needs a little sweeping here. What? 
I was gonna taste of something else, and I don't know what. <laughs> That's funny. This one tastes great. It's like burnt dirt. <laughs> burnt dirt. Burnt dirt. That's interesting. You still don't give up? It huh? has an earthy flavor. Yeah, it tastes like driveway. I just stare at it with contempt. <laughs> but, but I also stare at it with wonder of how they managed to get that many horrible flavors into one, into one cigar. cigar. Yeah, interesting. interesting. I've had a bad cigar before that's like, hey, this tastes awful. And then I've had another bad cigar that I said, hey, this tastes awful. But this is combining every bad cigar experience I've ever had in my life. And turning it up to 11? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually kind of making me nauseous <laughs> for a memorable experience. I guarantee you, you will never forget this cigar. That's a true story. There's a lot of cigars that I've had that you, were like, Matt, that was all right. That cigar, I will remember. I will you need to remember. put that band on your wall as an example of what not to do with a cigar. <laughs> How uh, not to make a cigar. That's a cigar that will I will forever try to forget. And do my damnedest to do so. That will haunt your dreams <laughs> for the rest of your life. The next cigar I light in like a week or a few days from now, I'll be lighting a cigar going, Oh, please, God, let me taste this cigar and not that other piece of dog shit. <laughs> You will be laying in a hospital bed decades from now on your dying day going, I die. I see the light and <laughs> fuck that. And I Don't you put that, that evil on me. Cigar. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that evil on me. Oh, look, it's just randomly burning out the side again. Yeah, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Bobby. Let's compare. You dick. <laughs> this actually makes me want to gargle with gasoline while I'm smoking it. You dick. Alright, well we got it down to here. And I don't know what the fuck I just tasted when I took that last hit, I think I'm done. That right there, that's, I agree 100%. Worst. I will rate this cigar, cigar ever. on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give this cigar a 10 for the worst cigar that I have ever tasted. I'd say 11. In my life. Maybe a 14. <laughs> Maybe 14, that's good. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 25. Worst cigar ever. You saw it here first. Alright. Worst cigar in the world. Review. There you go. We're going to give it four thumbs down and a middle finger up. Two middle Two. fingers up. That's it. I'm going to go set my taste buds on fire. Thank you for watching. Vote for me. Vote for him. Mostly vote for me. See you next time. <laughs> what the fuck did you do, man? That was fucking horrible. I have got... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. I don't know how the fuck I got through that. I don't either. <laughs>